Francisco City and business leaders, past and present, held a grand opening celebration for the Transamerica Pyramid. Comes after a more than $1 billion four-year-long renovation. As KTV's Ali Rasmus explains, the event recalled the iconic building's 50-year history while highlighting what's next. If you're going to San Francisco. At the base of the Transamerica Pyramid, hundreds of people came to celebrate the past, present, and future of the most recognizable structure in the San Francisco skyline. It became the symbol for our city, the tallest building in the city at the time. Walk on any of the 48 floors and you'll find some of the most surprising interiors you ever saw. Attendees watched a video from 1972 advertising what was then a modern building. Now, 50 years later, the Transamerica Pyramid's been updated and reborn again after a four-year-long renovation. You never, ever, ever bet against San Francisco. And this billion-dollar bet is paying off. This newly expanded redwood park at the base of the pyramid has 49 redwood trees, fountains, and a sculpture garden. It's one of the public spaces people will be able to come and enjoy during daytime hours starting on Sunday. The developer, Michael Schwo, says the goal is to invite people to the building, not just to take a snapshot, but to experience it in person. Create a place for people to congregate, for people to enjoy. The place for activities, for lectures, for concerts, for music, Schwo says 70% of the office space is now occupied. It includes panoramic views, a sky lounge, spa, bar with complimentary drinks for the building's tenants, as well as a gym. Monica Pereira is the daughter of the building's original architect. She came to the celebration from Arizona. A lot of pride that, that it's still standing, that we didn't think to tear it down because it was over two years old. If you see this building, you know it's San Francisco. And the celebration continues tonight. The public's invited to come watch a laser light show that will be shown on the eastern side of the Transamerica Pyramid that starts at 8.30 this evening. In San Francisco, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.